day. I call on government orders of the day number eight and nine. New Zealand Horticulture Export Authority Amendment Bill Committee Stage. Children, Young Persons and Their Families, Advocacy, Workforce and Age Settings Amendment Bill, Committee Stage. I declare the House and Committee for consideration of the New Zealand Horticulture Export Authority Amendment Bill of the Children's, Young Persons and Their Families, Advocacy, Workforce and Age Settings Amendment Bill. Mr Speaker. <coughs> Members of the House and Committee for consideration of the New Zealand Horticulture Export Authority Amendment Bill and the Children, Young Persons and Their Families Advocacy, Work, Force and Age Settings Amendment Bill. Point A point of order, Chris Farfoy. Mr Chairman, I seek leave for the New Zealand Horticulture Export Authority Amendment Bill to be taken as one question for the purpose of debate with the question put separately at the end of the debate. Leave a sort. Um, uh, leave a sort for that uh, a sort for that matter. Is there any objection? There is no objection. The question then is at parts one and two, schedules one and two, clauses one and one to three stand barred. Mr. Yeah, Honourable Damien O'Connor. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and, and I'm certainly not going to delay the progress of this piece of legislation. In my view, perhaps one of the most sensible pieces of legislation we've had in this House because it it goes right to the heart of co coordination and collaboration across primary sectors and uh, specifically of course here horticulture I have one question for the minister why not meat um, and he knows that because um, there's such profound wisdom in having the kind of coordination across the meat industry uh, that we are actually putting in place through the horticultural export authority uh, led, uh, amendment bill it amends a bill mate came that came into power when labor was in government 1987 um, and, and it brings it up to speed. It allows groups to have um, flexible marketing strategies in new markets. Um, it allows, uh, through the SOP, which the opposition will support, I have to say uh, the select committee is normally right on the ball, um, very, very efficient, but clearly we had um, some dud instructions from the minister um, <laughs> to the committee that <laughs> meant there, there was an omission that the minister will no doubt explain where we have to include the ability to take a levy in the primary legislation, um, not just allow for regulations that then would set it. And I'm sure that everyone in the industry will be happier with that uh, legislative guideline for what is effectively a tax. And that levy will enable the Horticultural Export Authority to get on and do its job. It takes a very small amount from the product groups, I have to say, and, and oversees a, a growing uh, volume of exports um, across a number of well, are kind of um, some big um, uh, sectors, but some small ones as well. Um, it does things like updating penalties for offences under the Act and clarifying um, requirements of product groups want to get out or into or out of the group. All sensible things. The Select Committee has studied um, uh, this piece of legislation, and we thought very thoroughly, except, except for this last-minute um, glitch that the Minister is amending through his supplementary order paper. So, uh, Mr Speaker, um, Labor supports this legislation, always has done. We put it in place in 1987. We support its ongoing principles, and we think the government should be applying this across other sectors, particularly in meat uh, and wool, where we would have far better export outcomes um, for the whole of New Zealand. Yeah. Uh, the Honourable